What's up, YouTube? CJD here from Chris's Junkyard Designs. I uh, figure I'd go over some um, recent cars I opened up that I picked up today and got in the mail the other day. Figure I'd show you guys them a little up close. Uh, I opened the ball today and put pics on my Instagram account if you guys want to see them. <clears throat> so the first one up is the 77 Plymouth Arrow funny car. Um, this is full metal, of course. It's an awesome car. Um, the body does open. I'll show you on the next pass. And it stays open, which is good. An awesome, uh, funny car for the collection. I have a bunch of funny cars. But you can see all metal. It's a beautiful green color with the yellow flames. Love it. Definitely a nice car. Nice casting. I think it's the only Plymouth Arrow I have, I'm pretty sure, in my funny car collection. <clears throat> okay, next up, we got the Porsche 917 LH in the Gulf livery. So, I did notice one thing when I opened it up. You see the Gulf patch right there is a little messed up. Um, I think it's messed up on this side too. Not too much, but yeah, it is. And see that? It looks like mud on the bottom. I don't know. I'm thinking it's just a mess up. And the tampo, because that tampo's messed up too. These don't really race in mud that I know of. So, I don't know. It still looks really cool. <clears throat> Beautiful car. Beautifully shaped car. Glad I got this one. I think I have about four or five of these 917 LHs. Not a whole bunch of them. <clears throat> really nice in the Gulf livery. I got this <clears throat> bone shaker, which set out of, um, <clears throat> excuse me out of um, F case on the car, but I'm pretty sure it's an E case card car. How this got in the mix I'll be is beyond me. Everything else was D case, but it was there. Um, awesome. Bone shaker. I love those wheels. Those deep dish steely wheels look awesome. And you got bone shaker with the skull and the wings. 68. Really nice. Glad to see another bone shaker for the collection. And I think the wheels are great on it. Nice jet black color. It looks really good. Grab one. Let's see up close a little bit. Really not much else to see besides that. Then we got the 2009 F-150. This isn't something I would normally collect, but because of the blue and a good year on it, I liked it. I don't like the wheels on it. I don't think they look good on it, but it's not a bad casting. You almost have the tail light right there. It's almost fully done. Nothing in the front. Chrome interior is kind of weird, too. But it goes with the bumper and that. It's got the side steps. Oh, it's a really nice looking truck with the Goodyear on the back there. Symbol. But they did a good job. I'm glad I got it. Beautiful blue. Nice metallic blue color. Really nice. Okay, and this is one of the um, red editions I found today. This one is really sweet. I'm not a big Volkswagen person at all, but I've been liking these ones with the wood grain on it. The blue one I got. Now this one, I think the green one comes out in H case. I don't remember. One of them, F case, H case. But this is sweet. This beautiful jet black. with That, that wood panning really stands out in this one. The red wheels on there. The red interior, the red stripe, just all goes together perfect. 
definitely a beautiful red edition. Really good. And the headlights, I believe, are part of the bumper, which is awesome. So they did a really good job on this one. I like it. Okay, next up is another red edition. Is that 73 BMW? I like this car. I think it's a cool looking casting. We just had the orange one, that was the Super 2, of course. And now we got this red edition one, which is really nice. This is a really good set of red editions this time, I think. No fantasy crap in there or nothing. Just really good picks. And very well done. Okay, and then the last one is my favorite one. Greenwood Corvette, I believe it's a 67, if I'm right, or 76, I don't remember now. I don't know if it tells you either, probably doesn't, I don't remember. But it's a Greenwood Corvette, and it looks awesome in this red edition. And I believe green is the next color coming out for this, a few cases from now. We had that beautiful blue metallic color for the first one. That looked awesome. I got an extra one of that to do something with. But this one is really nice. They did a great job with this one. Red, the white, the smoked glass, the, the wheels with the white lip on it blend in perfectly with the car. An awesome looking car. Got the 22 for this year, I'm assuming. It has a white interior. White base. Really nice. Good job. Next up, we got this Matchbox um, Collectibles 2015 Jaguar F Type Coupe. This thing is really nice looking. Beautiful job on this one. Matchbox does a great job with those collectible series. Very nicely detailed, all around. Real riders, plastic base. But that's a beautiful car. Great job on that. Go right in the Jaguar collection. Red orange color. Nice graphics. You can see the tail lights are fully done. The emblem, the F type. Interior is black. Headlights fully done. Emblem done. Really nicely done car. With the moon roof. Panoramic roof. Okay, next up we got. Cars from that 20 pack that I kept that I did not have. Um, start off with the exclusives, why not? 64 vet. That is awesome. Great looking car. Got the deep dish dealies on this too with the red lip. Jet black. Red stripes, red interior. Beautiful car. Did a great job on this one. Very nice exclusive. Okay. Very happy to get that one. Okay, next up we got the Lamborghini Gallardo LP. That was the other exclusive color 
in gold. The black double stripe, I guess, on the top. This has got uh, tail lights put on it, the Lamborghini symbol, and the headlights. This one's fully done up with the emblem. Beautiful gold color. Wheels look great on it. The honeycomb wheels on it look really good. In black. Very nicely done color. Nice color. Okay, next up is this 2017 Acura NSX. So, I don't know if this might be one coming out, I guess, in a future case. I don't have this one. I've had all of them from the past couple years, so. Or it's another exclusive to the pack. It didn't say it, but I don't know. But it's an awesome looking Acura. Beautiful. Silver. Fully detailed, too. Wheels look good on this one, too. I like that. Nicely done up car. Look good with all the other Acura NSXs. They all look good. I like that casting. And they're all always fully done up. Because they don't put any crazy stuff. They just do the colors and that's it. So it really looks good. So that's that one. And next up is this um, custom Volkswagen Beetle. Which, like I said, the other one, I'm probably going to gas land up. I don't really care about the casting. I like that other Beetle with the wood grain, but other ones I'm not really interested in. I think this is perfect for a little gas land build. So that's what I'm going to do with it. Got a perfect rack on the top for mounting a gun or something. Keep the same wheels on it. The wheels look good. This will definitely be a good build. For sure for that, so glad I got that one too to use for that. Okay, next up, I didn't have this one either. 2015 Honda Civic Type R. Pretty cool looking casting. The front all done up. Why they didn't do the back is beyond me. There's no side graphics on it. I don't know why you can't throw taillights on there. You put nothing else on the car, but they didn't. They just did the front, <clears throat> which looks really good. <clears throat> that beautiful jet black color. <clears throat> um, really happy. Grab that one for the Honda collection. It's another one I did not have. Okay, next up is, I believe, a 64 Pontiac GTO. I'm pretty sure. It doesn't tell you underneath on the base. Did not have this one either. <coughs> but um, awesome looking. Beautiful blue with the black stripes. Very happy to have this. I don't have too many of these uh, Pontiac GTOs in this year in my collection. I have a lot of the 67s, a few 69s, but not too many of these. I like this style too. Really nice looking. Really care for the gray base and bumpers. I never really care for the gray. It never really looks good, I don't think. I'd chrome it, but that's how it is. But she looks good. Worth getting into the collection. And next up is the 68 Plymouth Barracuda Formula S. Did not have this one either. 
another nice formula s we just got that green one last year i believe but this orange one i have a couple other variations before that not a whole lot nice looking car looks good Really looks nice. I like it. And finally, we got this vet. It is, I don't think they tell you the year. This is a stingray, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they don't tell you. These are plastic bodies, metal base. All of these are. I have a bunch of these different variations of this, but it's still pretty cool. But I didn't have this one either. Love the wheels on it. Definitely. I don't think any of these have interiors either. But, um, it's still a cool car. I like it. So I made out pretty good. I almost got 10 cars out of the 20 that I didn't have. So you're paying like $2 a car. And a couple I'm going to give away. And the other ones I'm going to give to that guy's kids. So, I mean, it's worth it. Now, if it was just the two exclusives, I wouldn't buy it. I'm not paying 20 bucks for two cars, but... Since I didn't have all these other ones, I figured I'd grab it. So I'll do it for the cars in this show, guys. Um, I realized I hit over 100 subscribers now, I guess. I just realized it today, after I did the last video. Up to 102, so I can't believe that already. It's only been, I don't know, a couple months, I guess. I don't even know when I started. So I'll be doing a giveaway. I'm starting to plan it out. I don't want to reveal what it is yet because it's not done, but I know you guys are going to like it. Um, it's going to be really good. Um, I don't think anybody's done a giveaway like this one before. I'm pretty sure they haven't, but I want to finalize it so it's done before I show it. In the next video or two, I'll give details on how to enter it. I haven't figured that out yet either. Um, this is new for me, so we'll see what happens. So stay tuned. Next video or two, I'll let you know how to get in, and then hopefully I can finalize this prize up and get this rolling. So thanks again, guys, for all the subs and the support and the great comments and all the likes. and It's really great. Love showing the collection off. I'm glad you guys like it. Uh, I'll try and show you guys some things that you wouldn't normally see on other channels. So I hope you enjoy it. Take care, everybody. Have a great night.